little things. Am I wearing a leather jacket? Yes. Do I need to be wearing it inside? Absolutely not. <music> YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm gonna to do a video on five autumn essentials that I really just can't live without. I did a video last year on my autumn essentials. Uh, not much has changed in the last year, but there are a couple of things that I've acquired over the year that I've made other videos on that I absolutely love. So I thought I'd put a video together on my five favorite items that I can't live without for this autumn, so let's get into it. Right, going sans jacket for the minute. Number one, first thing that I've got, uh, that I've, well, I've recently got this last week for uh, reviewing and I decided to um, get it for myself, is the uh, new Ironheart shirt. This is the Ironheart Kersey work shirt, 14 ounce. Uh, it's just, uh, I love it, I, absolutely amazing. Not just because it's indigo dyed and it's a different fabric, uh, which is Kersey. Uh, I went through that in a video last week. I put it up here somewhere where you guys can go and take a look at in-depth review of that. But you'll see in the thumbnail and just how it sits on me, it just, the cut of this is just incredible. It's super comfortable. Uh, I, I'm, I'm not awkward in any way with it. It just is one of those uh, shirts that I put on and just forget. And the reason why I got this is, now that we're going back to the office, uh, I wanted some kind of understated pieces that um, kind of you'd be wearing and know that you've got nice solid construction Ironheart shirt on, but it's, you know, it goes under the radar in the office and no one will really uh, know what you're wearing. So this is number one in my uh, autumn essentials right now. And why I say it's for autumn essentials, it's 14 ounce, it's not brushed. So it's kind of heavyweight, but still not too warm uh, that you'd get from a, a brush flannel. So for me, it's like that midpoint. I wore it this weekend, just gone. Uh, it was good for the first half of the day, then the sun came out, it started to get a bit too warm. So not quite there yet, uh, but going into autumn fall, uh, this is gonna be so, so good. And just the way it sits, the car, it just looks incredible. So that is number one, 14 ounce uh, Kersey work shirt from Ironheart. Do you know what my second piece is? Uh, an obvious one. It's another one I did a video of recently. It's the Rogue Territory uh, Tan Ridgeline Supply Jacket. Uh, I love this. I, I do love this. This morning it was raining. Uh, it was absolutely hammering it down, to be honest. Uh, I didn't go out with this on with hammering it down, but when it sort of finished, it was still sprinkling and bits and pieces everywhere, uh, debris and water and rain. Uh, and it was perfect. I, I threw this on, uh, went out, and I mean, it's not waterproof, but it's water repellent because it's wax. So perfect. As you'll see, it's a little bit large on me and that is on purpose because I bought this for uh, the miserable weather that is going to be coming in autumn and winter. So I've got a, I've got a throw of jumpers, um, jumpers and knits and all that kind of stuff that I'm going to throw underneath it, uh, which will pad it out a bit, which is exactly what I want. I could have gone a medium, um, but that would have been, I've tried the medium on and it's a bit, it's fitted. You really can't wear anything else with it. And for me, I liken this to a kind of a, a, a bad weather kind of jacket um, or throw over. So I want to wear it when it's bad weather, you know, so I'm going to put a jumper on underneath and I did that in my last video. So check that out again up here somewhere. Uh, it's, I love it. It's just super casual uh, and the wax feeling, again, I love, some people hate, but I, I prefer it. This replaces my Rogue Territory Explorer jacket, which has the really short sleeves. The uh, missus has taken that one now and that fits her perfectly. So this is uh, perfect for me. And uh, I really can't uh, understate this enough. I know the Bond movie's coming out, so you'll probably see it in that. Um, if you're looking for a jacket that is obviously not lined, you can put stuff underneath it, but uh, actually you can get the lined version of this. There is a version that has a blanket lined, I think. Uh, so if you want to get one that's a bit warmer, check that out. But I recommend sizing maybe a little bit up on this so you can um, layer underneath it during bad weather. But yeah, Rogue Territory Tan Ridgeline Supply Jacket. I mean, anything from Rogue Territory is, is so, so good. So uh, check them out. Uh, you won't be disappointed. You know, I forgot one of my five <laughs> things I was going to mention is this actual leather jacket that I started the video with. So this is the um, A2 uh, leather jacket in seal brown. It's the real McCoy's A2 leather, leather jacket in seal brown. Literally, my first video on the channel was of this jacket. If you want to go back and look at it, it's a terrible, terrible video. It's 20 minutes of me really going deep on this, but in a really, really bad way. So go check that out if you really want to torture yourself basically but uh i've been meaning to do another video on this soon uh just i haven't got around to it yet because i was waiting for a few more 
pieces that sort of go with this. I really uh, enjoy wearing a hoodie uh, under this, uh, but I've got a really old uh, green one that I wear, but it's, it's not worth showing on the channel, but it fits me all right. I wanted to get uh, you know a nice black hoodie. This with a black hoodie underneath is, is incredible. Uh, but yeah, I still wear this, but it, it, believe it or not, it's super warm. So I haven't worn this uh, all year, obviously, uh, since you know last winter. Uh, and even then, when we're working from home, I, I had nowhere to go. So I haven't really worn a lot of this stuff, this included, for a while. But now some people are starting to go back to the office. I'm starting work back in the office from next year. Uh, so I'll be wearing a lot of this stuff, but uh, it's a, it's an interesting one this jacket. I love it. A lot of people don't uh, and My other half doesn't like it that much. So uh, when I go out with her, she doesn't like it if I wear this So halves the times I can really wear this jacket, but I love it smells amazing fits amazing uh, And yeah, I just I really like enjoying this, uh, you know with a t-shirt But again, it's got enough room to layer underneath as well. So uh, this is going to be with me forever it's not one of the ones I'm going to sell. Uh, so I've seen some other jackets. I've seen some of that, you know, the flathead uh, cafe rider jackets, I believe they are. They look so, so good. So, so good. But I, I love a jacket like this is such an investment. I can't, I can't get another one and I can't bring myself to sell this. But I do, I do love this jacket. If I had my time again, I'd probably go for like a rider's jacket because this has got, I mean, this has pockets, uh, but I think the rider's jackets have hand pockets I can't I can't remember but yeah this is great I love this jacket uh, and again seal brown real McCoy's can't go wrong with it bought this in Japan I know they're expensive uh, they're extremely expensive here but if you go to Japan a lot of this stuff is a lot cheaper so I bought this in Japan and it was a lot cheaper so yeah check it out uh, check the review out of this original one and I, as I said another review coming very soon I'll stop rambling let's go next one right so what's an essentials video without a pair of denim and the one pair I've been wearing probably the most uh, lately is this pair from PBJ. And that's kind of because we're in a transition period. It's not it's not terribly hot and it's not cold. So these are a 13 and a half ounce uh, pair. They're a left-hand twill. These are the XX011s, I believe. Uh, they're, yeah, as I said, left-hand twill, uh, and they've got a gray weft to them. So as they fade, they have a bit of a gray tinge to them, which is quite amazing. Uh, Junior at Riveted and Hyde actually has a pair of these that he says are his favorite pair of denim. And if you're in the store and he's he's wearing them, they're they're so faded. They look they look so good. They're they're really like all gray. Uh, and these ones have a lot to go, but they are fading uh, really well. I recently had these. Um, just to have a few cuts on it. <laughs> believe it or not, a dog bit me, and I had a had a, on the back of my leg a bit that was uh, fraying, and obviously next time that would get washed, that would fray. So I had these recently uh, repaired, uh, and yeah, so back in rotation now. XXO11 from PBJ. I, I, I love these jeans. I love these jeans. They're super. They're supposed to be, I think, a slim taper, but they they fit me really kind of loosely. Um, around the legs and the thigh. So, I mean, they stretch really nicely around my body. Love them. Uh, get yourself a pair of these if you're in the market for a pair of jeans that you can't go wrong with. If you're looking all over for a pair of jeans that you just set and forget kind of kind of deal, uh, these you cannot go wrong with from Pure Blue. Any, any jean from Pure Blue Japan, really. So yeah, love these. All right, last one on the list, and this is the one I can't live without, and I've been wearing these for many years, and it's a pair of boots, obviously. Uh, these are the Red Wings. These are the Red Wing Chuckers done a video on them as well. So I'll put that up there. I've done a video on all these things that you've seen today. Uh, so I'll put them up there and a link down below to see all the individual videos. But these are the chuckers. These are pretty much the first set of boots that I bought um, and I've worn the most. Absolutely love them. The uh, soles are worn out like crazy. Uh, so these are getting resold. I'm gonna do a video on, on the resoling. Um, I mean, I don't know how exciting it's going to be because all I need to do is just send them off. So uh, I'll do a video on that and just show you how they are now. Send them off to a place in the UK that does uh, Red Wing resoling. Uh, it's, it's Red Wing don't do it anymore at their shop. They, they give you someone to send it to. So I'm going to send it to those people and get that redone. I think that's about £100 um, to get it resold. So I will be doing that soon. Uh, when I get into rotation on my Vibergs that I got earlier in the year, they're ready for, for winter. So, but... I love these. They are so comfortable. You don't get any blisters uh, and they're just the best pair of boots that um, if you want a pair of boots that are just going to last you and last you. Uh, I've never had these repaired, uh, resold, and I've probably had them for near on eight years, seven years, eight years. 
uh, daily use to and from the offices and, and, and that so on and so forth. So yeah, Red Wing Chuckers, I'll put the link in the description down below uh, and you can't go wrong with them. Right, that's it, super quick, five things that I think are essential this year uh, for me. I didn't want to repeat what I did last year because uh, it would have been a lot of the same stuff like the barber jacket and that kind of stuff. Uh, so I wanted to include a few things that I've just recently uh, picked up uh, and just keep it short and sweet of things that I know you guys will, will get use out of if you were to purchase these. And I mean, you can't go wrong, the Rogue Territory supply jacket is so useful. I mean, both aesthetically for just, you know, wearing and, and looking good, but you know, also to sort of wear over a jumper on a, on a, on a, on a bad weather day. The Kersey work shirt fits my silhouette, it looks incredibly well, you know, kind of tapered on my body as well, but it's a durable fabric and it's not brushed, so it's warm, but it's not too warm, so it's perfect. Uh, the PBJ uh, XX 011s, just a perfect all round jean, left hand twill, got a great weft, so they'll fade beautifully over time. Uh, the Red Wings, cannot go wrong, wrong with Red Wings. If you're looking to get a pair of boots, you don't know where to start, if you, it's, your, it's your perfect entry level boot, perfect. And the last one was the uh, Real McCoy's A2 leather jacket. I guess it's a bit eccentric uh, and not everyone's going to buy one. Uh, they're very expensive uh, when you, you do stump up the cash for them. But again, this will last a lifetime. Uh, so I think that, that was one of my big things with this jacket. You know, if I look after it, uh, even if I don't look after it, I mean, it's it's literally going to last till I, till I die. It'll outlast me, I'm pretty sure. So. There are five things. I'm gonna do a video uh, coming soon in the in the next couple of weeks or a month or two uh, on some winter stuff. Hopefully, uh, looking at some new jackets, uh, maybe a new N1. I did sell my N1 from Real McCoy's uh, last year. Uh, I'll tell you all about that. Maybe an Ironheart N1. Who knows? Uh, and also, there's I think there's a collaboration coming with Rivet and Hyde and Pure Blue Japan. So stay tuned. If you want to know about that stuff, hit the red button, subscribe and put the bell icon on so you get notified when I drop a new video. Uh, we've got a new one coming next week, another Ironheart shirt. So stay tuned for that. Uh, and if you like this video, then hit the like button. I really, really appreciate it. It gives me an insight into who's actually watching, who's liking. Drop some comments down below. I'll try to get back to you guys. There's so many comments that I, you know, it takes me a few days to, to get back to all of you guys. But drop a comment down below, hit the like button, hit the red subscribe button. And with all that being said, have a great day and we'll see you in the next one.